Guys, here comes that Florida State offense back onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do, because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. That's caught. It's Douglas. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot and the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Quarterback empties his backfield. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Getting some heat. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. After the incompletion, it's second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. A little less room to work with now. The ball's at the 28, and it's third and long. Back to pass. It's Uyunglele. They're working that left side. They didn't quite get that route run deep enough to pick up the first down. Now they've got a fourth and short. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television set. Why aren't you getting past the first down marker? Why did you run your route short? Defense did a good job knowing where that was. But now, fourth down, offense has to make a decision. I love the idea. And I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a nice call. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. From the red zone, looking for a man. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. Let's see if they go back to the air on second down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. On second down, he's looking downfield. Catch in the middle, it's Douglas. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. And as we get deep in this first half, a first and goal and a chance to take the lead before the break. Quickly complete. Touchdown, no! What a grab and go for the score. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what. Keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Georgia is getting throttled right now inside Sanford Stadium. And frankly, it's been that way since the crowd started.